If you loved Tekken 3, you gotta play the Tekkenade story mode. I won't spoil anything, but if you played Tekken 3, you probably at least tried playing as Jin. Maybe you learned a few moves of his, just tried him out, even if he wasn't your main character. But if you have played as him in Tekken 3, or even just played against him, you're gonna absolutely love what they did with the finale and the final battle. And I also found out that there are two endings. There's a good ending and a bad ending. So I think I'm gonna play the final battle again to and try and get the bad ending this time. So when I've been playing the story mode, I've just been button mashing and using the assist buttons that just do automatic combos for you. I gotta say, I love how they made it accessible to anyone that can just button mash these auto combos and have a good time playing the story mode, even if they don't know how to play the game. So now after completing the story mode, I think I'm gonna try the arcade mode, the other offline modes, and try to actually learn a few moves from the characters. I have not played Tekken 4, 5, and 6, but having played the story mode of Tekken 7, Tekken 8 story mode was by far the best they've ever done with any kind of story mode. So Tekken 8, I'm glad they stepped up their game and made it like, a true AAA game in terms of their story mode at least. I'm sure the other parts of the game are amazing as well. All that's to say, if you enjoyed Tekken 3, you'll probably love the finale of the story mode in Tekken 8. I did want to add that Tekken 7 had all the cinematics from Tekken 1 to Tekken Tag the whole series, but Tekken 8 is missing all of that. All they have are the Tekken 8 cinematics plus some story mode like slideshow cutscenes which aren't really cinematics at all. I really wish they brought back that feature from Tekken 7 where you could look through every video from the past Tekken series. But at least I can go back to Tekken 7 and watch all of them. I also read more of this book today, The Millionaire Fastlane. The author doesn't believe in the law of attraction. He said he's tried it, but it didn't work for him. It was about action taking that really changed his life. So when I say he tried the law of attraction, he actually tried visualizing and trying to manifest it by thinking about it and all that, but he didn't take any action, so it didn't help at all. He instead has what he calls the law of affection. The law of affection is basically impact millions, make millions. You don't necessarily have to impact a million people, but you can make a giant impact a few times or make a small impact a million times. To serve millions is to make millions. Think big to earn big. Those are some of the key lessons that I got from this book. There's still half the book left for me to go through, so I'm curious what he's gonna say. Anyways, my chest is already sore from this morning's workout. I'm glad I got it in first thing in the morning. See you tomorrow and 1% better every day, baby. It's just before sunrise. I haven't worked out for the past couple days, so it's time to get back into it. Today is push-ups, pull-ups, and dips. Let's do this. <laughs> So that was just over 20 minutes. Oh man. Push-ups, pull-ups, and dips are actually quite exhausting because it's definitely more exhausting than the isolation exercises like curls and lateral raises, for example. A lot more strenuous. Anyways, mission accomplished. Good morning, Tigger. Good morning. Good morning, Mochi. What do you want, Mochi? Hmm? I gave you, Mama. No more. No more, Mochi. What do you want?